Good morning, Kalispell. I hope everybody is doing great. <clears throat> so today we're going to dive into a little bit of a topic that we get asked about a lot, and it is how long can I go before I get adjusted again? A lot of times people find themselves in a loop where they only look to coming into the chiropractor for neck or back pain. They're like, dude, my neck's killing me. Come in, get adjusted. The pain drops down. They think that's the end of it. Or same thing with the lower back. There's a reason we use objective measures to determine when people need adjusted. So the, the couple of big things that we do to determine when people need adjusted. Number one, we use our CLA equipment. So the pulse wave profile, the thermal scanner, which shows us if you're having any heat distribution issues within the nervous system and the EMG. So that detects unbalanced muscle pull. We don't do that every single visit. There are other things we use, such as leg checks, palpation, and things like that. But those are objective measures of when a person needs adjusted. It is different from every person to every other person out there. We have some people that can go, well, it depends on where they're at too in the road, in their care plan. So if they're finished with their care plan, we've had people come in and get checked once every six months. Do they always need adjusted? No, that's the glory of having the objective measures to use because you might think you need adjusted and you actually don't. And the same is also true. Pain's a terrible subjective indicator of when you need adjusted. A lot of times you can have muscular tension and your spine's not in, not in this line. That's why we use those measures. So. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free, shoot them over to us in a message, and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day, Kalispell.